Hello, friends and fellow farmers. Let's check out what's on TV. We have, uh, we'll check the weather. Why not? Clear and sunny. Fortune teller says that we're going to have uh, spirits are in good humor. And living off the land tells us what? Salmon berry season. All right. Now, uh, questing, right? I've got 10 slimes, level 40, build a coop. Now, I had, uh, taken a, uh, a bit of uh, a little bit of time off and uh, it, no between it doesn't appear that I have but I did hello dear I know you're just getting started as a gardener so I wanted to give you a little tip most crops only grow in one season when summer arrives your spring crops will die out so plan ahead uh, so yeah I took off some days and um, it was good I had tons of feedback finally I've I, I recorded enough far enough ahead that I basically hadn't heard from anybody yet of their thoughts and all of that so now I've uh, slowly been compiling uh, basically a list of uh, suggestions and things and uh, lots of very good suggestions, uh, specifically in terms of other mods I should consider adding. Um, and there was a, a number of suggestions as wanted me to do the uh, Jojo run. And I think I will do that this time. I know we'd started filling up the community center, uh, of which also I think I might have yet to claim something. Um, now, yeah, I know I was slowly adding stuff here, but, uh, okay, let's see here. How are we looking? <laughs> like, what do I even have? Right, there's my watering can. Right, I'm, I need to get enough money to buy. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to remember, like, what exactly am I even working on? Um, so I don't have any other seeds, do I? No. Um, could we, we could make more... Spring seeds? Yeah, I could make another pack of spring seeds, I guess. Um, why not, I suppose, right off the bat? Oh, right, I have no room. Let's maybe put these things away then. And then we'll come and get uh, all the, the spring things. Alright, so that's ten. Doesn't buy me a ton, but it gets me a few things. Uh, and then we'll go grab all our tools back. Okay, now... Yeah, let's see here. That's that. That doesn't. That did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. Let's water what we have. It's dead, it's very weird. Uh, every time I play uh, a new world, you for the first little bit, I always feel like I'm farther along than I am. <laughs> so it's like, oh right, I only have the basic thing because it moves so quick. So it's going to take a little, still a little bit of adjustment. Um, so yeah, there was the big suggestions were uh, going the Joja route, which I think I will do. I'll give that a go. I know we'd started filling up stuff in the community center, and I should go and gain whatever it is I left there if I did leave something in this one. Um, and then uh, I think we'll try that. I don't know how much I need for a Joja membership or if it was free. I don't remember. I've never gone Joja route. That's one thing I will say. In however, whatever I've played. I don't know, five, six hundred hours of Stardew Valley. I don't even know what it is at this point. Um, the I've never gone Joja, ever. So it's weird. Uh, that's one thing I just... I... I Yeah, no. <laughs> it's gonna... It, it's gonna be hard. It's hard for me to do. I'm gonna have to really... Uh, we're gonna We're gonna take to heart, you know, uh, that in this representation... Uh, we have a, a, more, a much more diverse community. I think we have Andy, who's, you know, very pro Joja. And I don't think that's just meant as a source of conflict. I think that's, you know, genuinely more representative, perhaps, of uh, the needs of people. I, like, a good example is, uh, I've, I've grown up in, and lived in many small towns, and I'm, I'm very much a uh, supporter of small business and, uh, you know, things like that. I, I remember when... Uh, up here in Canada, when uh, Walmart and big box stores start becoming more prevalent, I'm old enough to, you know, not really have grown up. I, I didn't grow up with a Walmart and where I lived, um, and I I have a total abhorrence of uh, big box stores because I think they, um, you know, what, I'm just going to put these things here for now, and then I will. Well, no, hold up. Okay, I'll sell these. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be doing the other route. So let's let's sell up this stuff at any rate. Um, yeah, I have a weird abhorrence to um, 
the big box stores. I just really, really don't like them. <laughs> So, because I think uh, I, you know, again, as a, as a student of, uh, you know, w globalization and stuff that was happening in the '90s, a lot of what I saw was big box stores, um, you know, killing small mom and pop stores, as so-called, um, basically flattening the landscape of where you, you know. You go to buy stuff, and you're really your only choice you're left with is a big box store, and that's not good uh, for anybody. That's not good for customers. Uh, it is in the instant sense of like, hey, my stuff is cheaper, I save money, but we've created an economy where it's you know, it's difficult to get by. I think outside of shopping at big box stores, for a lot of people, and that sucks. And then so if that's your only recourse, it. Those things wipe out the, the existing stores in many places. Again, in the '90s, that very much was a, you know, a case study, um, and of how things happened. And the idea then that your option that you're left with is uh, lower-paying places, uh, or they were historically. There we go. Yeah, I can't. Thank you. I'm glad I, that it was caught because that would have been annoying. So yeah, I mean, there's no point dumping all of these things down. I guess if um, I, I just will go right off the bat because I'm not going to wait around for all of these different things. I don't know. I'm not going to overthink this. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I think is what I'm going to do. I think we're just going to run ahead and uh, go buy the Jojo membership. As filthy as I'm going to feel doing it. The, uh, I, you know, I totally get it though. Like it's, it's this catch 22 that people are stuck in. Hello, Sam. Hey, farmer. <laughs> Oh, my head. So it's this catch that people are stuck in where we don't want to... I'm just going to look around for goods for a second to see if there's any ground food. Um, we're stuck needing things to be cheap because people are being not paid enough. And then the catch is that the only thing you can afford is the the stuff that you're going to find at like the big box stores. And then so it, it's kind of this bad cycle where, yeah, you're, you're, you're kind of limited in your options. Uh, sorry, I'm just, my brain is like, is there anything here? No, you can't get through there. Okay, and then, so is there an upper path and a lower, or is it just the upper there? I don't know. At any rate, that's, uh, yeah, uh, there, it's, I'll, I'll be probably talking more at length about this, because <laughs> it drives me nuts. <laughs> but, so I've never, ever, ever, uh, Oh, we're going to get a cutscene here. What did we do? So tired. Can't keep my eyes open. Oh, no. Is Morris going to catch her? Oh, this is interesting. Oh, apologies. Uh, welcome to Jojmart. How may I help you? Oh, <laughs> yeah, right? And we're going to go, well, you know what? I know you're being paid a uh, minimum wage at best, and you're being pressured to do overtime you don't want to do, and you're still having to pay a massive amount in childcare or whatever it is you've got going on in life, and you're looking after elderly parents who are, you know, requiring uh, money and housing and food, and uh, yet you're here, and this sucks. <laughs> so let's go and destroy uh, her dreams. And uh, go and buy our membership. Oh, I feel terrible doing this. Okay, yeah, let's... Uh, 5,000 G. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would like to, but I don't have the money. Yeah, don't have money. Okay, well, I'm going to get the 5,000 and we're going to wreck this place. Hey, Shane's hard at work. doesn't seem interested. Well, fair enough, Shane. I don't blame you. I'll be back. So, now that I know 5,000 is what I require. How's it going, Abigail? Oh, hey, take a break from work? I am. Maru, what's going on? Whenever I'm struggling with a technical problem, I always take a walk. Good strategy. Hello, dog. What's going on? Don't tell anybody I was rummaging. Is anybody's birthday today? Uh, oh, it is. It's Olivia's birthday. I can't imagine I have anything that Olivia's going to want. <laughs> like, <laughs> the trees look nice today, don't they? Spending time in nature is very rewarding. So what is this sucker? Two grand. So I'm curious, what is it from Jojo? Okay, uh, well, I've got 30 seeds now. I think I'm okay for the moment. 
So let's just go and get these in the ground, perhaps. Harvey, what's going on? We sell a few over-the-counter medicines at the clinic. Feel free to stop by if you're feeling exhausted. <laughs> Dude, I'm not buying drugs from you. I want to be like my big brother when I grow up. Get our foraging up here slowly, too. Hello, ladies. Maintaining a household is difficult work, but somebody has to do it. Yeah, like me. Uh, the like man. I wish Abby wouldn't spend so much time in her room. I wonder if any of Victor's friends want a part-time job cleaning the house and save me a lot of time. Okay, I, I think I'm going to... I'm going to give her a flower. I'm gonna, she's going to hate this. Oh, it's for my birthday? Thanks. Look at that look on her face. She's disgusted. Okay, well, I'm going to just continue on. Oh, hey. How's it going, Emily? Have I told ha uh, you Haley and I are sisters? Strange, isn't it? Is it? Oh my, what a lovely day. How's it going, Evelyn? Uh, yeah, I might still want to make more seeds, so I'm going to hold off on just giving away all my stuff yet. My special prize of, uh, there we go, there's more berries. I'm just going to go this bottom route and see if I can't get a few more berries. At any rate, I, I think we're caught in a position where it's, like, I don't look down on supporting big box stores. Uh, if that, everybody needs to do what they need to do to get by. I think that's the what we've been kind of pushed to. This town is so small, it sucks. But I think the, the consequences of it, I'm not very happy about. <laughs> from a Just from a social perspective, I think it's... We could do better, I think, if we were to invite... If, if we were to invent things from scratch and we'd say, hey, should we have these giant stores that, uh, you know, are going to produce less jobs and pay less taxes into the economy because they're going to do everything they can to get away from paying taxes and they're going to decimate choice... And then you're going to be forced to buy house brands and uh, whatever it is they choose to put on sale because there's no laws preventing them. Uh, is that a good thing? I, I don't think my answer would be like, that's how I want to design stuff from scratch. I don't think that's where I'm going to... I don't think that's the path I'm going to take. But yet, that's kind of the path we, we are pushed into um, by these things. There, there's not... You know, it's a... The idea that we have choice on it is kind of a false, uh, it's kind of an illusion. I don't think there's a lot of choice. Um, I know uh, where, um, I live in the lower mainland in uh, Canada here, and there was a lot of opposition to uh, certain uh, stores coming in. Um, and uh, I think they eventually capitulated, I, I, I think. Uh, but it's it becomes a very contentious thing, and it, it does become kind of classist as well. Or that's the, I think that's the framing that's done, and that may even be bad by the stores who are trying to frame it as a class argument, in order to um, more thoroughly substantiate uh, getting into a place. Uh, someone had noted to me as well um, that you can use a chair and you put the chair down next to this, and then if you get off the chair, you'll pop onto the other side, which. I believe, if I'm understood correct, I think that's what it was. That's an interesting one. Apparently, it's just never been patched out, which it suggests there's kind of a kind of a support for it. Um, but we'll be getting our axe upgraded soon. But it's good to know all these little these little things exist in the game. It's neat. There's so many little tips and ways of going about different things. Um, I'm not seeing much else in the way of berries here. Walking so bloody slow. <laughs> just like dude could we not do this okay oh am I not gonna have enough oh my gosh close close we were so close what do I need for my ground food here I need a horseradish is what I need so it's good I've got 31 salmon berries I'm gonna be eating those for sure uh, do I have any other grade of horseradish? I do not. No. <laughs> All right. Let's go get this. So 5,000 G it is. Uh, I'll, I will just start pushing towards that then. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go sell off whatever else it was I had there in the chest. I'm just going to not do the... I'm not going to bother. I know we could, we could fill up the community center up to a point. I don't think I'm going to bother with that path. It's just... I'm just going to go all in, I think. Uh, there's still so much to explore in just this game as a whole. I don't think I'm going to overcomplicate it. I want to spend more time exploring and doing fun stuff and less time uh, worrying about 
um, trying to you know get this or that done. Okay, let's see here. Uh, oh, the cat. Where's the cat's bowl? It's over there. But at any rate, I, I know everybody's going to have different feelings about, you know, I think some people think nothing of going the Jojo route. And I think a lot of people feel an uneasiness. And I I think that makes sense. Uh, yeah, okay, so the clam is for the community center. The bean is for the community center. And these fish are both for the community center. So let's, yeah, I'm just going to, none of this stuff is going to be for uh, Buddy. Uh, I guess there will be less fishing involved if I if I don't do the community center route, which, you know what, I'm probably comfortable with that. Less fishing, you say? I can handle that. All right, let's get that smelting. All right, and then, oh, I forgot to sell the other thing here. There we go. Uh, oh, wow, we actually tanked our energy for the day. I was, I was about to say, I think we have still, like, way too much energy. But uh, that's not entirely true at all. Okay. So we'll just slowly come and uh, then build up our stockpile of stone. So I think the weather said it was fine tomorrow, which means I'm still waiting kind of for a, uh, a rainy day here so we can go out and get more going on. Definitely not seeing very many artifact spots, but again, I don't know if that's by design or what the scoop is on that. All right, uh, yeah, I can get that. Okay, put all that away and put all that away. Um, we still need some maple seeds in order to do anything else, and I guess I will take those when I go mining or whatever. So, yeah, we're gonna go the slimes and then level 40 in the mines. That's going to be two things, as well as saving up for cash. But we'll see how fast that happens. How did the cat end up in here? Well, well cat just teleported in here, I think is what happened. Uh, I'm just going to just confirm that said. Clear and sunny, yeah. All right, so we're going to be watering crops tomorrow. All right, we will take a break there, and we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye. Level 3 farming. Plus one watering can proficiency, plus one hope proficiency, bee house, speed grow, farmer's lunch.